good old man, what happened to you? What country did you belong unto? My name is Death, I've come for thee. All kings and princes bow down to me. All kings and princes bow down to me. Okay, everybody, that was uh, my original arrangement of a very old song called Death and the Lady. Probably lots of other titles for it. Um, this song was brought to my attention by a, a listener who um, saw me play uh, Oh Death, and they showed me this link to a, a recording by Norma Watterson and Martin Carthy. And it's called Death and the Lady. You should definitely look that up. It's very easy to find. That's a pretty famous recording that Norma Watterson did with Martin Carthy. And uh, it does seem like it's probably a much earlier version of Oh Death. So that's why I wanted to try to try to tackle it. So the close-up that we just showed you, we showed you, we started off with two finger, then we went into the old overhand style, what most folks call claw hammer today. And uh, it's, it's very simple. Um, so right off the bat, I'll tell you the relative tuning that I came up with for the piece is F sharp, D, G, A, D. But I am tuned, as usual, a full step lower than that. I've got my handy electronic tuner here. I'll tell you my exact actual tuning. E, C, F, G, C. So that's my actual tuning. Works the same as the relative tuning, it's just I tune low so that I can sing with the, with the music. And for those of you who have trouble with singing, I suggest you try relative tunings. Usually, for most of us men, um, we have to sing, we, our natural singing voice is a good deal lower than G, certainly than the A tuning that, that's common in today's old time music. Okay. So how do we play this piece of music? I'll, I'll run through it on the two-finger style. For those of you who um, do prefer learning from tablature, a link will appear up here somewhere. This link will take you to patreon.com slash Clifton Hicks for a very modest contribution every month or annually. Uh, you'll get access to the tab for this and for every lesson that we've done. You also get access to our members-only forum and you get direct access to me if you have any questions or stuff you want to discuss with me. So how do we play the piece? Uh, you'll notice that I mostly am, am keeping my my uh, left index finger noted on the third string at the second fret. That gives you this nice chord. And then you'll notice that my ring finger is dropping down on the second string at the third fret. Then you'll notice that my middle finger is sometimes coming down on the bass string at the third fret. So you get the several distinct chord shapes there. So open, real nice, you know, spooky sounding stuff. So I, I do do it in a in a, a, a waltz time configuration. So as opposed to the typical you know, old-timey rhythm that's like boom chicka, boom chicka, boom chicka. This is more of a boom chick chick, boom chick chick.
note. So the so the way that I'm getting that rhythm is I'm holding my uh, the first the third string down at the second fret. Then with my thumb I'm picking the bass string, and then with my trigger finger on my right hand I'm picking up on the first and second strings open simultaneously. I'm doing it twice. Boom, chick, chick, boom, chick, chick. That gives you the whole basis for the rhythm of, of this song. It gives it's it's you can also probably figure this out in the typical you know, traditional dance rhythm, the 4-4 four, four time, I guess they call it, but I thought this sounded better in the waltz timing. 3-4, the they call it, something like that. So then I'm doing these... So all you're doing there is, um, is I'm doing a heavy choke on the bass string at the third fret, but I'm starting with it open. While, while noted with my left hand at the second fret on the third string. I'm actually not noting that chord, so you're doing it open and... Then you're going to go to the noted. Then you're going to bring your ring finger down on the second string. Again. Then we go back into our heavy choke pattern. I'll give you gold, I'll give you pearls, I'll give you fine silk robe to wear. If you will grant me one season more To give me some time, my life to amend Give me some time, my life to amend That's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. It's very simple. That's your verbal rundown. Again, if you'd like to see the tablature for that, please do visit us at, at patreon.com slash Clifton Hicks. You'll get the tab there, and you'll be able to talk to other people about it. And I'd very much appreciate if you gave the video a thumbs up, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel here, and best of all, if you'll share this with somebody who's, who would like to learn the music. Okay, thanks for looking. I've had this thing running this whole time. Uh. <laughs> okay, friends and neighbors. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>